Hi, thank you both for talking about Stacker World here. How you doing? Guys, I'm going to be talking to you just quickly about the macro rigs that you'll see in this video, which we did just last week uh, on chasing our Spanish mackerel and spotted mackerel. And I've got a few rigs here which I'm going to talk about. You'll see them in a photo. But I'm going to start at one of the rigs that we use for catching uh, spotted mackerel, which is this rig here. We make these in store. Uh, we're using 340 uh, hooks, weight on the front hook there, nose cone and a skirt and we sh you'll see how I rig this up on the baits in the video. The other rig that we use is like a garfish type rig like this fellow here. Um, as you see there the hooks are bigger and uh, we've got the nose cone and a skirt and on this one here we've actually added a little uh, cone, a 3D printed cone with a jet head if you can see that there and the jet comes out the sides here. And um, what this enables it to do is for the bait to swim very, very nicely snug up inside. And, um, and it actually the action of the cone makes this bait swim nicely. Um, the other rigs we're using, going back to that small rig, is we're using like this type of rig here, which is the Oziri skirt at the front. Different to your normal um, octopus type skirt. This is actually a squid skirt. So this is the, what they call squid skirt and the shorter head ones are called octopus skirts. Uh, quality is exceptionally on these and there's a, a massive array of colors and sizes as well very, very good and they do make the lure swim the bait swim very nicely and the last thing that we use um, is like the old bait and matic style which were a lure brought out from south africa many years ago this thing here so what this does um, this actually swims uh, and dives down and swims it's quite heavy and the kit the hook goes up into the inside of it and there's a key lock and the hook actually locks in right there it's locked in there and it just doesn't move so um, the baits locked inside the front of it it can't turn or twist and it just trolls hard and then being that shape it actually swims along uh, behind the bait very good for Spanish mackerel uh, we actually caught a fish in this little one um, during the week just gone that little fellow there that's a smaller one which we rigged up for um, spotties but Actually, we caught a Spanish macro on it. <laughs> uh, anyhow, um, they all work great. Please watch the video. Um, there's a few fish we caught on there as well. And uh, but you'll see how I rig out the baits. Thank you very much. Bye. Good morning, guys. It's Dougie Bird here with Stuart. How are you going, Stuart? Hey, mate. How are you? Yeah, good, Stuart. So what are we up to today, mate? Mate, we're just going to go out to the uh, 18s, keep it pretty close, and uh, troll for a few mackerel. A few mackerel? Nice oh, and early. Nice, mate. I noticed we've got a couple of uh, coral trout lures on there mate? Oh, of course mate, of course. Oh gosh. And yeah. then uh, we've got my colours here at the bottom there. And Stuart, um, we're going to do that for a little while early, then we're going to yeah. do mate? And then we're going to troll some baits. So generally as the uh, sun comes up, the mackerel go down and um, that's when guys down rig or troll baits like we're going to do today. So Okay, well, yeah. we'll do that a bit later and I'll uh, see how we go. Yep. But we have to be at work before 8.30 so we don't have much yeah, time, right? We're quick, <laughs> we're running the clock. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Too easy. We're just going to rig up this little uh, slimy here, buddy. The slimy on this little rig here, something different. We're always trying new things. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure it out so that this piece of wire here, if you can see that bit of wire, is going to pass up through just in front of his eye here, and we know the last hook's going to start right at the back here. Okay, put the, always put the last hook in first. Around second hook in. So, Dougie, are those hooks coming out the top, mate, or are they just nah, in they're there, just mate? Sitting internal, mate. Yeah. Lead underneath his chin here. So, pass that through his head. I've got my glasses on, but I'm guessing that's not quite center. Sorry, mate. Is that right? Yeah, so, so it is quite important to have that center, Dougie, just it so it is, doesn't yeah. spin. Just so it doesn't spin as much. Yep. And, and then uh, what's that that you thread in on the front there, mate? It's a little gas spring. It's got a little um, little slit area here to start it off, and we're going to screw it up on his head it and really tight on his head. Yeah. Just like so. And he's locked in there, ready to roll. And if you want, you can just snap the tail, just break the backbone in the tail. Just so it's got a little bit more of a a wiggly tail. And we've got, then we've got the squid skirt here. So why do we run a squid skirt, Doug? Oh, just a bit of colour. It also gets over the top of that spring just to 
uh, stopping the air from getting in there. And it's a little like a bit of bling, Stewie. <laughs> so, a bit of bling. And then we're going to slide down this little apparatus here, which is a little jet head. And you can see the spring sits up in that side of it there. So, drop a swivel down through there. I wouldn't put a bead on there, just I know this sort of can fall off a little swivel quite easy as you can see. But if you put a uh, swivel on there, the problem's going to be that it's going to um, not sit up as far inside that bubble, inside of this, and it uh, won't um, work as good. Uh, there is a thing called glass, glass, which I should have on. Okay, there we go. So that's going to sit at the front of this. So that's how our bay is going to look today. So, Stu, if you want to throw it in your line, we'll give it a crack, mate. We'll give it a crack. Thanks, Doggy, mate. We've got a garfish, mate. We're going to rig up a garfish. There's a few little things you need to do before we rig up that little garfish. Yep. One is we're going to snap the beak off just in front of the other beak. Second thing we're going to do is make sure it's defrosted. And along this little ridge here, this little silver natural line, we're going to pop the meat off his backbone. He's going to pop squeeze it up. Now, what's this doing, Doug? Uh, it just makes it a lot more soft. Yep. And then we're going to measure it out so that this spike here goes up through this area here. So it's going to measure it alongside you. We'll get where it's going to sit. The hook's too long, which that one is. It's going to let it swing, okay? It's going to a little bit smaller than normal. You must have caught a doggy. Sir. Uh, uh. Uh, how you that one's doing? Without <laughs> time. Keep the hook in the sand and don't actually pop it outside. So, Dougie, what's the reason for putting the hooks underneath and not through the side, mate? Does that prevent spin or...? Yeah, it prevents spin. It just works a lot better. Yep. Yeah, so that's why we do it. Okay, this part here, you're going to go through his head. really should have my other glasses on, but that's okay. Okay, so, so that's just a little bit of wire. So this is why yeah. it's important to use heavier single strand dog, so you yeah. can get it out the top, mate. Yeah, size sort of uh, six, seven, eight, which is sort of 69, 86 pounds or something. Yeah. And then we're screwing this up over the front here. Yeah. Tight, that's acting as the guide on the, on the spring. Yes. And then that's it, ready to roll, and then we're gonna Drop the skirt down at the top. Poke that wire through the skirt as well. So it pushes the wires forward and that'll poke through the skirt. So, and then this is the game changer maybe. This little jet head thing here, the spring sitting up the side of it like so. We're going to drop that down at the top, and that should swim nicely, and uh, that's very, very, very pliable. Okay, we'll put the line to and we'll get some video of it just swimming next to the boat and see how it looks, buddy. Perfect, thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Okay, Stu, here's how the um, garbage looks in the water. Obviously, we're going to be doing a bit more, a bit more um, speed. See that tail just kicking, Dougie? Yeah, that's right. It's just um, sitting nicely. As the boat lunges, it sort of pulls forward, then it'll drop back a bit and pull forward. That's that sort of works, mate. The swell's always undulating, so you also pick up speed and then you drop off. If you pick up speed, you drop off. Depends which way you're trolling against the current, the swell, and then also the uh, things that get in the way. So it makes the bait sort of move around a little bit. Yeah, so we'll give it a crack. That's it, mate. See you, mate. Dougie, mate, what's happening? on the new improved mackerel rig we got. Yep. Just notice Today's stream, we did try hard bodies early. The slow troll thing. Hopefully, we bring home the.
the bike. Mate, I want to bash it over the head with this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Bad gap shot, but first time, Dougie, mate. That's there right you go, straight. mate. It's all right, Stu. Well done. Uh, well straight done. in, mate. We've got a uh, Spanish on a little... Well, it was a pilly rig, but we had a little slime on it, okay? Well done, Stu. That was a one-handed gap shot too, Dougie. <laughs> <laughs> it was quick. I'm, I'm glad I trained slow. Thanks, mate. Right, we're going to get rid of this thing. Well, not get rid of it. We're going to sort it out. It's been worth my toes. Yeah, that's it, mate. Okay. <laughs> okay, thanks, Stu.